The Peggy Martin Rose is in its prime. Here we are in spring and you can see these beautiful clusters of deep pink flowers that are very fragrant. The bees just love it. This is a trailing deciduous rose vine that does very well in USDA hardiness zones from four to nine. And the Peggy Martin Rose actually has a very unique story. It's named after a Louisiana resident named Peggy Martin. She was from Plaquemines Parish and um, after Hurricane Katrina, when she returned home, she found just a few plants that were still surviving after being submerged in water for several weeks and this rose was one of them. Now, it was taken from cuttings from friends and a friend of hers, William Welsh, who was actually a professor and Texas AgriLife horticulturist and an alumni of LSU, took cuttings of this, propagated it, and named it after Peggy Martin and actually sold this plant after Katrina proceeds went to help those recovering from the hurricane. Peggy Martin is a resilient southern gem of a rose. She is easy care, doesn't have a lot of maintenance. You can trim them in the end of winter to get them ready for spring. You can train them back to the shape that you want. Just provide support with a wall or a trellis fertilize in early spring again in fall when they may bloom again but not a lot of pests not a lot of disease and a whole lot of beautiful flowers the peggy martin rose forget it growing i'm heather kirk ballard with the lsu ag center